Hi Capricorn, welcome to your November 2017 general tarot reading. It's Raina here. So Capricorn, if you're looking for just a pure love reading, I've already posted your sign on my channel. Check it out. And I also post separate November um, astrological readings. I believe I've done your sign, but I can't be sure because I've just started those. I'm doing these uh, concurrently with uh, my general tarot readings. And if you'd like a private reading, the link is below, rainandmoonastrology.com. Wow, <laughs> a lot of cups. <laughs> I spoke too soon. A lot of emotions. Okay, and um, I don't know if any one of any of you are dealing with Pisces, but um, let's look at this. I'm trying to think of anything that would be. Well, Scorpio, Scorpio, there's a lot of Scorpio stuff happening, so. The overall theme for this time period is the Five of Cups. This is a card of grieving the loss of something. And this can be in the realm of love and that certainly is possible, but it could be in something related to your career. Maybe you thought you were going to get a promotion or something along those lines and somebody else got it and you feel that, that sense of dejection over it. But in the depiction of this Morgan Greer deck and um, the Rider Waite deck, there are two cups remaining standing so and the person has their back turned toward um, from them so sometimes this is the attitude of the person who is mourning a loss is that they tend to see the glass glass half empty certainly something I would associate with Capricorn being ruled by Saturn um, Capricorn is just a sign that is very, I don't want to say pessimistic or cynical, but those are shadow aspects. Because, first of all, you're an earth sign. You see, I have a lot of water here. <clears throat> what is the difference between earth and water? Earth is all about show me, prove to me. Give to me. You know, let me hold it in my hand. Water signs tend to deal with emotions and tend to deal with spirit. And so if a Capricorn person gets involved with a water sign, this can sometimes be a bone of contention where the Capricorn person feels like the water sign person is a bit... Um, unrealistic about life, a little bit um, too gullible about situations, whereas Capricorn, one of the reasons <laughs> that you are so hard-boiled is because you, as, as Saturn as your ruler, you see those things in life, that's the cynical part, that remembers the time when somebody screwed you over, and so rather than believe that person again, you're going to be very vigilant. And this is one of the reasons why I think Capricorns tend to be very successful because they learn their lessons. That's what Saturn is all about, lessons. The problem is that they may only learn them on one dimension and they just see cause and effect. And th th that's the very basic level of any situation. Um, it's very easy to judge somebody who is 
doing something heinous and not look at what what uh, what brought them to that point and um that is not being a, a, a silly liberal or a um you know like a bleeding heart type of a person that is what wisdom is about is knowing that there's more to the story and there's more to the story of our lives so if you have some kind of thing that disappointment that doesn't go your way how do you know that it's not a blessing in disguise and that's what those two cups are and the person the Capricorn has their back turned on those two cups and that is um, an important point to make is that there may be a setback that you experience but if you harness the lessons of this situation you don't become more cynical as a result of it you may end up benefiting three times as much we're not looking at a snapshot in time we're looking at the bigger picture here and if this is like a, a relationship that went sour you would have to to think about what really um what really happened there did i did i contribute to this is this really just this other person leaving and poor me and blah 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 um in the past position we have the queen of cups this card can deal with being um being kind of um, more sensitive psychically than normal. Being, I, I wonder though if this is a different person. This could be a different person. Um, but if this is you, you may have wanted to have children and you haven't been able to conceive. And again, um, looking at a situation like that, how do you think that, why do you think this is happening at a deeper level? That's, that's always important. Are you with the right person? Are you willing to raise a child that doesn't belong to you? I mean, that's not your biological child. Sometimes women get pregnant after they adopt. And there's got to be a reason, an energetic reason why that happens. It lets go of resistance. Maybe you're trying too hard. Um, the Queen of Cups is a card also of incredible passivity, femininity. Capricorn is a feminine sign because it's Earth. Earth and water are feminine. But it's a cardinal sign, so you tend to take action on a regular basis. Um, but... This is an energy in the past position of waiting something, waiting for something, and maybe it didn't work out the way you wanted. And it's kind of, you have to um, be careful not to become bitter over it. It could involve another person, maybe the mother of somebody else's, of your partner's child that they have gotten back with, who's come back into the picture, or you fear that he is still in love with her. Because we have here, right now, the two of wands, and this is a card of make, making a possible decision between two things. Sometimes this is a card of relocation. So... It's possible that um, you're thinking of, of leaving because you want to get away from whatever ha has happened. And by the way, I just want to remind you that this is a general reading. So some people may not resonate with my <laughs> story that I've gone along with. If, if that is the case, if you haven't had any kind of situation involving heartbreak, then... 
th there may be other cards that are here that kind of speak to your situation. The higher message is the Seven of Cups. So it seems to me that some something may have happened and it's kind of thrown you off a little bit and you're not your typical uh, confident self. You may start to doubt yourself. You may wonder what you're doing. You may even question if this is a work situation, whether you should be in the same industry, field, because it may be uh, very competitive and this is why whatever happened happened because it's a an unhealthy environment in the first place. I guess I think of competition as unhealthy in a lot of cases because when you're when you're especially in a workplace situation where you feel like if you don't live up to a certain thing then you could get demoted, you could get fired, you could just lose your job, you know, that, I think that breeds a lot of stress. So again, that could be the two cups that are remaining, that something did not go the way that you wanted, and it was actually for the best. With the Seven of Cups as a spiritual card, I think it's talking about cutting through the confusion of your life. Maybe your values have been um, a bit perverted, where you have allowed yourself to go after shallow things instead of really wanting to serve humanity with what you do for a living. And make no mistake about it, you could be bagging groceries and serving humanity because of your presence, because of your you know, good vibes. And, um, and yet you could be doing something where it's considered this, like being a lawyer, the, you know, professional, a doctor. And if you don't have a high mind when you're doing it, are you serving humanity? Are you helping yourself? The, the Seven of Cups is about making good choices too. Because this is a spiritual message, spiritual position for this spread, it's looking at how it's going to impact your soul. Not how it's going to impact your pocketbook or if people are going to be really impressed because you're doing a certain thing, but how are you going to feel spiritually about what you're doing? What crosses you is the King of Cups. This could be uh, this person that has broken your heart, um, they can be a water sign, um, also like a, um, I was saying like, um, I don't know why I said also, but they could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and in the challenge position, this person is creating problems in your life. It is possible that they are using manipulative tactics to keep you in line. Um, they may be trying to, they may be cruel. They may be emotionally abusive to you. And that can also impact how you feel. But this person definitely doesn't seem to want the best for you because they're doing these things. When people are uh, manipulative, they're trying to get what they want. So this could be a narcissist, somebody who's really so self-absorbed that they have no idea. They really, do, I don't even think that narcissists who do specific things um, that we can pinpoint as narcissistic behavior really truly are that tuned into themselves that they know what they're doing even though it seems like they're plotting and they're they're scheming to do something I think it just is like this natural outgrowth of their own um, basic 
lack of understanding of who they really are. What comes in is represented by the Page of Wands. This is good news. This is something that may um, get you over any kind of emotional situation that has come into your life and you feel once again that life is great, happy, you're energized, um, maybe you're hopeful about something. This could be a job offer, this could be a romantic interest, maybe even just hearing from, from somebody who lives in a different city that they have a place for you to stay and you're like, great, now my, everything is falling into place. Um, and of course in January you have your new moon in your sign. So at the end of this year, Capricorn, you may be kind of winding things up and some things may be ending, some things may be beginning, but you'll be able to start the year with a good running start. And the outcome is the moon card. I was also feeling that for some people, there may be this sense of uh, an artistic pro project that you have been working on or trying to get off the ground. Uh, because the Queen of Cups, I associate with uh, an artistic person. And the Moon card also can be more is to be revealed. Um, it can just be a very spiritual time for you and not necessarily one full of action. Your dreams may be very vivid. And with this card, see this card, these are connected to Pisces. So I don't know if there's a Pisces person, a potential partner, or if this person is Pisces. But this is, um, this could be somebody who you have met that is actually a good uh, fit for you. The other thing, too, is that this could talk about things coming to fruition at the time of a full moon, which in, or maybe even like the new moon period, maybe that pushes you off into something new. For you, the the new moon is going to be in the sign of, I believe, let's see, so you're Capricorn. It's going to be um, Scorpio. Yeah, that's going to be the 11th house. So something may come to you, Capricorn, around November 18th or thereafter, that is something that you've wanted for a long time. And maybe you hear news about it and it feels uh, very energizing and once again you're hopeful in your life. And so you can feel a lot better than you did maybe starting off <laughs> everything. So I hope that um, I hope that you enjoyed this and if you'd like a private reading please click on the link below. Otherwise, have a great November. Bye!